Hello, Serge here from the back porch. Today I want to discuss something I saw on the Golf Channel yesterday watching the Bob Hope Classic. Uh, when they were doing an interview with one of the celebrities, they, they cut out to their, one of the golf instructors from the channel who started giving this gentleman a golf lesson. And he was uh, an eight handicapper, had a pretty good golf swing that I saw. And what I liked immediately when I saw it was when they showed his swing that he had a very still head. He didn't, didn't move much, didn't turn a whole lot, and it got a little flat and laid off on this side, but he, it wasn't a, a, a big monster turn, and he finished up here, and Philly, in a T position, squared at a target. The instructor immediately said, started talking to him and said that, well, if you really want to get better, and he says, you really need to, to do what I'm going to tell you about right here, he said, but I, I warn you, this might mess you up for the rest of the tournament. Well, hello, there we go, back to that stuff. You might get worse before you get better. As, as you know, my statement is, is you get better right from the very first lesson. But here's what he said. He said, first off, he said, I don't like your head being as still as it is. He said, you're, 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 you're not making a good turn. In fact, you're not making enough of a turn at all. And he said, what you have to do is you have to get your back to the target. He says, you've got to turn. He says, right now, you're really not loading into your, into your, into your right side. He's a right-handed golfer. And into your right side and get in it. I thought he loaded pretty good for what I saw. But this, this teacher said that, that because he's not making a big turn, the only way he's loading is with his big sway. And I didn't see that because if, if he was swaying, that means that his spine and his head would have been moving. And he already admitted that the, 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 the player had two still ahead. And so... He said, what you got to do is you got to get that big turn, and when you get back in here, it's going to really get you back to your target. It loads onto your back leg. So, as, as you all know, I'm very big on a, on, a, on a still head, and when this instructor made the demonstration, he, if you were looking at him, when you focused on his head position, you would have seen that and when he made his big turn, his head moved at least that far. And so, we're losing our focal point to the ball, and in centrifugal force, the rock on the end of a string, if I stand there just swinging, what happens when I, if I stand and I move my hand like this from where I originally started? Well, that rock isn't going to come back to, the, to hit the ball in the proper place. The rock being the head of the club, in terms of the rock and string position, it's not until, it won't come back if I don't, what? At the top of my back swing, move forward. And what do we have? That's one of the biggest problems almost all golfers face. So my point is this. It seems like at these golf tournaments now, they're really getting into a lot of golf instruction. And uh, they had this, this golf channel uh, instructor, you know, he was all the way out there on a driving range at one of the golf courses in the Bob Hope Classic. And they were going back and forth to him quite often. And some of the announcers are really getting into more, more teaching because, as you know, many of the announcers on the golf channel are former you know, PGA Tour players. And they have some of just the regular announcers, but they got a fairly good amount of, of former players out there that are now talking. So there's a lot of instruction coming at you if, when you're watching any of the telecasts produced by the Golf Channel. And I mean full instruction, not just little tidbits or comments. And so my point here is this. Most of what you're going to hear in these, in, from these instructors is contrary to the surge swing. It's contrary to the limited turn three-quarter vertical backswing and it's and it's very much against the finishing square to the target they're all talking about finishing over here so when you're watching these uh, golf instruction tips watch them with an open mind listen and, and look very carefully and and be sure that you don't get you know sucked into thinking and seeing the wrong things and hearing the wrong things and going out and practice it. Always ask this question. This is what I always tell my students. When you hear instruction, it might sound reasonable. Just ask these two questions. Number one, does it fit physics? Does it conform to the laws of physics? And number two, does it deform, conform to the physiology, the laws of the design of how the human physiology is designed? And, and, and in this case, its design is based on, on proper movement. Just ask yourself those two questions. And if the answers don't come back, yes and yes, then you don't want to do it. And last but not least, after those two questions, just if you got doubts, come to the blog, put questions in, because you know I like to I like to get questions and answer them here as 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 daily videos. But uh, I think in most cases when you when you're getting instruction from these golf tournaments, when you ask does it conform to physics or physiology, you're not going to get yes answers when they're talking about the modern golf swing, the rotational golf swing. So stay awake, stay alert. Be vigilant and just remember, 
The third swing is in the catcher's mitt and up the tree, and in the catcher's mitt and up the tree. We're swinging a limited turn, three-quarter vertical swing. And that's what we're looking for when you're trying to do the, ver the third swing, because that swing does conform to physics and your human physiology. Well, that's it for the search today on a, I guess we'll call this a surge alert. Okay, so that's it for me, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.